What's up everybody? So today in this video, I'm going to answer a commonly asked question and that is how to duplicate a base into another table. I'm going to give you the exact step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to do that in this video. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners probably just like you help them optimize their information system. So that's database development and Airtable, maybe project management and Asana as well as communications in like Slack and the tools that connect all of them like Zapier and Integramat to really make them all do a lot of workflow automation and work really great together. So if you're interested in that, you can check out the link in the description and request a consultation from me for someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right in the video now. Over here, we are in my workspace here and I'm gonna show you a really simple way just basically in the sales CRM to copy it into the project tracker. Now this is different than syncing bases but this is going to really just give you how do you how do you duplicate everything with all the same field types and everything maybe you don't even want the data in there um, i'm going to show you all of that right now so basically what you have to do is you just come to your wherever go to your table that you want to copy so for us we want to copy these contacts from sales crm and throw them throw them in that other base so what you have to do here is you have to come over here share this view create a shareable grid view link and if you want all the data in here that's great uh, if you don't want any data in here, then I'll show you what to do right after I show you how to do this part. So once you find your base that you have all the data or you don't, if you don't want it in any of that in here, we will just duplicate this table. And this will be, so this already has like, has all the formulas, has everything we want, just the way we want it. Um, so either way, whether or not you use this one or this one, pick the one if you want it to have data in it. If you don't want it to have data in it, pick that one and just come up here, click share view, and then make sure you toggle this on right here. So allow viewers to copy data out of this view. So now if you want, if you want to sync it, make sure you click this and then you could just click, click sync this view to another base. But all you need is just to click allow viewers to copy data out of this view. And you're just going to click preview. Now what you're gonna do is after you click preview, you're gonna see this right here. You're gonna see all of this data or maybe you come over here and you did it out of this one and you shared it out of here and you don't see any data in here. What you wanna do is in either place, whether you're on this one with no data or this one with data, click use this data. And when you click use this data, it's gonna give you some options. So make sure you do this where you're logged into your Airtable base. So don't do it on the desktop app. It'll prompt you to open up like Google Chrome or Safari or whatever you're using on your device. You can just come in here and pick your workspace. So I'm gonna go click my workspace and now I'm gonna click the base. So the base that we want is we wanted to add it to the project tracker. So I'll just go ahead and create this base and connect it to the project tracker real quick right here. And so now we have this same exact lovely database in our project tracker. And so whether or not you wanted that information in here, like all of all of the data in here, you at least have the same field types and you have a lot of those same different options right here. So like these, the single select stayed the same. And if you come over here more, you can see more of this stuff stay, stayed the same. So if you do come back here, you will notice some slight changes. So if we toggle between these two, so I'll exit out of that. If we toggle between all contacts and the new or the old table, we can see there used to be a formula here. So there used to be a formula right here. And if you want, you can just copy this and you can paste it in the formula field there. Now, another thing you'll notice is in the new table, instead of a linked record, it's a single line text. So if you want to go ahead and just hide that in the new one, you can do that or you can just delete it if you don't need it. So it looks like the VIP had even changed the little icon there to a star. So that's perfect. And then if, if we keep on scrolling over, then we can see the interactions and opportunities. And I do wanna talk about these here briefly. The interactions and opportunities, this isn't a sync table. You can just go ahead and delete these. So if we just delete these, if you don't want them, they're just the linked records to the other table. You don't need those in here. So you can just delete those just as easy as I just did there. And you can also delete the account if you don't want that. But if you do want, say you had that formula in here in this primary field, you can come in here and just press in here, press command A, then press command C, then save, then come over here, customize this field type, change this to a formula, 
change this to that formula right there, command V right there, paste it in there, and then it'll do exactly what you had before. So if it takes out any formulas, you can just copy the formulas and paste them. Do that as soon as you transfer over the data, that way it's super easy to still have all the same field types in there. So that's the, intro, that's the simple way to just copy a base from one base to another. Ideally, you if, if it's somebody else's base, then ideally they left on the use this data. But if it's not, otherwise it'll probably be your database and you can just create that share view, allow people, make just make sure you have that allow viewers to copy the data out of this base and it'll work perfectly for you. And if you wanted that data to be synced between the two bases, then you would toggle on this and you would use this right here and you could sync that view to another base. But we're not gonna be going through that in this video. So if you enjoyed this video, you should go click this video right here. It's all about Airtable formulas. So you can learn how to write basically any formula. I walk you through the just the simple steps of creating what was created right here in this name and organization right here. So if you wanna learn all about Airtable formulas, just go click that end screen right there and you can learn all about them. It'll give you the full the, basically the full tour of Airtable formulas. So I highly encourage you to go check that out. And without further ado, I'll see you there and have a great day.